my word. Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Culture Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we have the next bi-monthly subscription box from The Wizarding Trunk. And look at this box. This is Gigantosaurus. This is Hagrid sized. It's a Hagrid sized box, but this is by far the biggest Wizarding Trunk box that we have ever seen. So it's gotta be packed with magic. And I mentioned that this is their bi-monthly subscription box. They also have a quarterly subscription box if you did not know, and that is their high security vault box. The bi-monthly box is the Owlry box. If you're new here, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you are a returning Potter Collector community member, Welcome back. On the front it says, The Wizarding Trunk presents the Owlry, and we see an Owlry there. Something new on their bi-monthly box is this giant Wizarding Trunk logo. The first time that we saw that was on the Keep Collecting box, so it's cool that they brought it back for their other boxes. Fragile or Fragical Magical Delivery. And Social Media Information. We are about to enter the grounds of Hogwarts, as well as the Forbidden forest. Dun, dun, dun. We've got some brown paper on top to make sure everything stays inside. Ooh, is there another book cover? Wait, we're not done with book covers yet? Guys, there's another book cover. Okay, I think we have two for the Hogwarts library set. So this is going to be the third book cover for the Hogwarts library set. So we're going to take a look at that. Let's actually take a look at it right now because we always save it for last and we never open it first. So this is going to be the first time that we open it first. What could it be? These are always fantastic designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop and they are always full of magical foiling. Wait, what? There are two things rolled up here. Do you see this? Two things. <gasps> oh my word. We're not looking at the book cover first. We're looking at this map of the grounds and the forest first. Oh my gosh. Now this is something I did not know that I needed until I saw it. Look at the back, isn't that beautiful? Wait till you see the front. This is really incredible. I wish that this was a tapestry because when you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, that looks like a tapestry. I'll just show you right now, even though I really wanna just stare at this for like 10 minutes. This right here deserves one of my holy moly cannolis, which means I am very serious about this item. This is beautiful. Full. Look at that. It shows all of the different sections of the dark forest, where things are located, where different creatures are located. Look at the amazing border surrounding it. This is really well done, like incredibly well done. We see the Acromantula's hollow in there, where the Fort Anglia is, the unicorns and mermaids, where Fluffy is now staying, even though he's not in the Forbidden Forest. He was, I believe he was taken to Greece. Really, really well done. I know I keep saying it, but this is awesome. I want this to be a tapestry and I want this to be larger. Prince, I've said this in the past. I don't always keep Prince. This is one that I would absolutely frame and hang on my walls because it's that beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the book cover and I see lots of gold foil foiling on there. You guys get to see this first. I got to see that first, so you can see this first. All right, I will sacrifice. Dun dun na na. Now I'm seeing it on the screen down here on my table, and it looks like carnivorous trees and plants. The Compendium of Carnivorous Trees and Plants, Volume 3. And this thing is also designed to perfection. Wow. I love the different swirls of the gold foiling that make up different plants, different leaves. We see like lily pads and what looks like a carnivorous lily flower. Really beautiful coloring on here. I love those end papers that kind of look like roots or tree branches. And then those two wizards on the front who are kind of, you know, controlling the carnivorous plants. Let's get this on the book. Let me see if I can find it. When it comes to the Wizarding Trunk book covers, if you're unaware, they have created different book covers to fit the American editions to be able to take off the dust jacket and then put on a new magical dust jacket to make your Harry Potter books magical textbooks or magical books from the Wizarding World. And they have already released two book covers that fit these three books for the Hogwarts Library set. This is the Hogwarts Library set. You can get this on Amazon. You can still purchase it in stores. But we have the final book cover for one of these books. Now all these books are the same size so all three of the covers will fit whatever book you want. Let's put it on Fantastic Beasts. So I'm gonna lay this down flat, line up the spine, not gonna make any real 
set creases yet, because I want to make sure everything's lined up. Then we're going to fold the dust jacket flaps inside. Now these are a little bit difficult to put on because they've been rolled up. So if you have a little bit of trouble, you're not really doing anything wrong. It just takes a little bit more time. And then once you're happy with the placement of everything, you can create those final creases along the edges. I mean, come on, this is just pure magic right here. It just, these book covers make you feel like you're in the wizarding world and you've gone to a bookstore and you purchased a book all about carnivorous trees and plants. This is shaping up to be the best wizarding trunk box in my opinion, just based on those two items. And this third item, which I'm seeing right now, it's a key. It looks like, I think, an Owlry key. Wow, this is beautiful. This reminds me of two things. It reminds me of the Owlry, but also reminds me of Dumbledore's podium in the Great Hall, where we see an owl. Check this thing out. Now, I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is supposed to be an Owlry key because the Owlry is located on the Hogwarts grounds. But doesn't it give you Dumbledore's podium vibes, too? Look at this thing. Now, the Wizarding Trunks keys are on the thicker side. They are really heavy, well-made, solid metal, beautifully cut, beautifully designed, and always beautifully finished in like a gold or a silver color. So let's see, we have some feather detailing on here. The owl is standing on a perch and it has a scroll in its beak. I don't think I'm missing anything else except for just some really nice magical detailing. There's nothing significant Harry Potter wise about the key teeth, just that they are in a really cool geometric and balanced shape. And overall, just a nice size. You know, you wouldn't think the owlry would be like a giant key. So this is about the size of of what you would imagine the Owlry key to be. The box just keeps getting better. So let's see if we can continue. And we've got a pin here on top. What's the pin? It's a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Ooh, that's different. I would have never guessed this. Okay, I like this for multiple reasons. I'm wondering if this is the window from the Slytherin common room. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this. It is a mermaid pin. So it's like we're looking out of a, oh, there is an S on there. I think this is a pin looking through the window of the Slytherin common room into the Black Lake, because if you didn't know, the Slytherin common room, it's in the dungeons, it's below the Black Lake, which is on the grounds of Hogwarts. And you can look through the windows and see below the Black Lake. So here we are looking out that window. We see a mermaid in the center there, as well as tentacles from the giant squid. There's some seaweed detailing on here, as well as like ruins of Hogwarts that are no longer used that may be sunk into the Black Lake or potentially the home of the mermaids. And then there are are two columns on either side of this window with two snakes mirroring each other slithering around those columns and then in the center there is an s which would probably stand for slytherin i like the coloring on this they're muted tones not super bright we see some bubbles on there and what looks to be kind of dirty water in the background have we seen something that looks out into the black lake i think we've maybe seen artwork in the past but this is really nice on a pin all right we have a brown box here which i think is going to be a potion the wizarding trunk does incredible potions and this is <gasps> unicorn blood this is not very good i'm gonna have to get rid of this because there's gonna be the temptation to let this unicorn blood touch your lips in which case i will have a cursed life and a half life it says ethically sourced i don't know how you ethically source unicorn blood but i'm gonna believe it okay jokes aside this is unicorn blood look at that swirly silver liquid on the inside and even the silver wax on top just makes it feel like unicorn blood that we saw in the Harry Potter movies. Cool label. It says unicorn blood number 6716, ethically sourced, bottled by pure blood apothecary. This is a great one to have for my potion shelf. We have a little box here, which has a stag Patronus on it, as well as an acromantula. So it's showing the grounds of Hogwarts and some of the creatures within. I really have no idea what this could be. <laughs> it's the Fort Anglia in the Dark Forest. Cute. It's like a little Fort Anglia statue. I think that's all it does. Oh, it's like a rubber ducky. You know, it has the hole on the bottom. You can squeeze them and the air comes out of the hole on the bottom. It's just a little statue of the Fort Anglia. And the fact that it's made like a rubber ducky, it's a Fort Anglia rubber ducky. Like, that's amazing. So it's perfect because as we know, Mr. Weasley asks Harry the function of a rubber duck because he's very intrigued by muggle items. Really clever and a great little statue you to put on your shelves and no one would know by looking at it that it's rubber it looks kind of like a die cast model car the license plate says twt 
501, TWT meaning the wizarding trunk. I'm unsure what the 501 stands for, but really, really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, we have greenhouses. We've got something to represent the greenhouses. Look at this beautiful box. It says greenhouse number three, which is where the second year's potted mandrakes. So is this gonna have something to do with mandrakes? Mandrake statue, perhaps? It is, it's a mandrake. I don't always love little mandrake statues. I have not seen this yet. It's, it's facing the back. So far, the back looks pretty cool. The detail is nice. There's some moss inside of the pot, and then the leaves are foldable and posable. It's one of the better ones that I've seen. It's not bad. I do like that you can pose the leaves. That's a pretty ugly baby right there. It's definitely a mandrake, but there's just something about mandrake statues that are just never quite right. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's a really nice statue and decorative ornament, but I guess I'm just really picky when it comes to mandrake-related items. I think it could be a little bit darker. The pot is really nice. I love the moss detail in here. I like that the plants are posable. And by looking at it, you definitely know, oh, that's a mandrake from Harry Potter. So again, not a terrible item, but there's just something off about it. Love this box though. I mean, this is a beautiful box. The contrast of the browns and then the grays in the back make for really cool displays. All right, y'all, we are not done yet. We still have more to open. What is this? Is this Quidditch related? It's Madame Hooch's whistle. <sighs> So it is Quidditch related, but it's Madame Hooch's whistle. It's metal, made out of metal, metal chain, really nice detail on the whistle itself so it looks very aged and old. And then when you blow into it, let the match begin! Very clever item to have in this box. Quidditch pitch is, of course, on the Hogwarts grounds. And I don't think I've ever seen Madame Hooch's whistle in any sort of available anywhere, any way, anyhow. So if you're doing a cosplay for Madame Hooch, the Wizarding Trunk has you covered with a Madame Hooch whistle. All right, we have a little black pouch here, and inside is another necklace. It's a little Thestral charm. It looks kind of like a wax seal, but it's a Thestral carved in to this metal charm. It's on a silver metal chain, so it may just be a fun addition to the box for Thestral lovers like myself. Maybe we'll see more on the spoiler sheet about this item. Next up we have Dark Forest Insect Bomb. Now I heard that this stuff does wonders when it comes to keeping mosquitoes away. The ingredients are juniper, sage, and lime, activated charcoal, candelilla wax, sweet almond oil, and coconut oil. Now I'm gonna be outside today, so I will give this a try. And if I remember to put it in the description below, I will let you guys know how well it did. But I heard that this stuff works so well when it comes to keeping away mosquitoes. And it's used antibacterial and infection healing solve for bug bites and bee stings. It has a darker color that's from the activated charcoal. It smells similar to bug spray, but better than bug spray, and will probably last longer since it's more of like an oil. There's a little white pouch with something teeny tiny in here. Oh, fun, okay, I like this a little better. It's a sticker to put on your mandrake. Make sure it's perfectly centered. We don't want any accidents here. Because it's a square sticker, then I put it on a round pot. It's a little bit crooked, but it's actually straight. So it's gonna look crooked, but it's straight. Actually, it's a little crooked. Y'all, I did the best I could. But here is the mandrake with the pot label. And if I move it back and forth a little bit, then maybe you won't notice that it's crooked. All right, there's something exciting in here in the bottom. This is the last, I know there's something else in here, but this right here has been highly anticipated. Is there another in here? Yeah, there is. All right, so let's take a look at this real quick. If you've been watching, oh, there are three in here. Holy moly cannoli. If you've been watching past Wizarding Trunk bi-monthly boxes, you've seen these paper inserts, the magical creatures A to Z. Well, we have three more pages for our collection, but we have the book that we can now put our collection of pages into, and that is right here. Magical creatures A to Z, an introduction to otherworldly beasts. Fun interior, so it's like a photo album, and on the inside we see a bunch of otherworldly beasts. Included are inserts, plastic sleeve inserts. Our inserts are in the binder, and this looks like the title page. Totally the title page, so we're gonna put this in, and one of the edges looks like it's been torn off, so I'm assuming that's gonna be the edge that goes towards those three rings. Look at this, how fun! So when you turn it, you still see the title page, and and then we just start with letters A to Z. So we have page letter A, a Barramon, 
And then on the back of that, it says Arachne. I'm not gonna read this whole page, but I will put this on the screen for you to see, and you can pause and read if you'd like to. Here is the Abaramon, which is native to India, but also found in parts of Europe. The Abaramon is a hairy humanoid with backward facing feet. And then on page two, we see Arachne, which is basically a giant spider, so an acromantula. Giant spiders are one of the most fearsome and deadly creatures in the magical world. At full size, they can grow to the size of a small elephant. So we're gonna put page one into the insert, and I'm gonna have to find my other pages because this is page five and six. So I have another page somewhere in the Potter Collector Library. So let's skip one of these inserts. Again, I will put these up for you to read. If you'd like to pause the video, here's the page for the centaur and the Cerberus, or three-headed dog, AKA Fluffy on page six. Now I want to mention that the creative team at the Wizarding Trunk writes all of these pages. They don't pull this text from somewhere. All of these are written by the creative team. And there we have it. Now we have a place and a way to collect and display all of the magical creature pages that the Wizarding Trunk is going to send in their future boxes. Fun design, looks like a magical textbook, and something that you can display on your shelves. If you missed out on this box and this item right here, keep watching the Wizarding Trunks social media channels, because if they have more available for their online shop, I'm sure that's where they'll post it. All right, we have a print of the Whomping Willow, just a really beautiful, magical print. Look, like the sunlight is shining through. Just beautiful grounds of Hogwarts showing the Whomping Willow. A really nice watercolor, I like the twists and the turns of the willow, the rock work, the trees in the background, the foreground, and just how it's lit. Like, that's just really magically lit. That is the forest in the grounds box. Um, here's the cheat sheet and it says, caution, no swimming, <laughs> no feeding the giant squid and beware of Grindy Lows. It's a sign that would be staked up as a warning all around the Black Lake. All right, so the forest and the grounds. Carnivorous Trees and Plants book cover. You will receive one of the four volumes of this book designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. So they made different variations of this book cover. That's pretty darn cool. I'm assuming you'll be able to collect them all if you wanted to. So keep an eye out for them on their online shop. Unicorn Blood, ethically sourced, be sure to learn the side effects before consuming. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop and bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Now don't actually consume this. This is just for decoration and display. Ford Anglia. There have been several sightings of this car over the years. It seems to try its best to avoid human contact. Magical Creatures A to Z Binder. This binder includes page protectors to hold all of your past, present, and future creature pages. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. Willow Print. This print was created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Six and seven are the creature pages. Torn out of magical creatures A to Z, these creature pages were designed by Wizardry Workshop and written in collaboration with the Wizarding Trunk. Forest Map. You should think long and hard before entering the forest. But if you insist, please take this map with you to make sure you are aware of the areas that need to be avoided. Designed by Wizardry Workshop. The Mandrake. This plant can be found in the greenhouses on the grounds. Don't forget your earmuffs, students. Lake View from the Common Room Pin. This pin was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Owlry Key. This key will get you into the owlry on the grounds. And this key was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. The Forest Insect Bomb. Perfect for insect bites and stings. This groundskeeper never enters the forest without it. This vegan organic plant-based product contains Simply Earth essential oils, juniper, sage, and lime, and activated charcoal, candelilla wax, sweet almond oil, and coconut oil. Skeletal Horse Necklace. This necklace was designed for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Referee's Whistle. This whistle can be heard all over the grounds on the match. And that is the Forest in the Grounds box. The next box theme is Potions Class. Now I have heard that the Potions Class box is not just gonna be filled with potions. Like there are gonna be really fun additional items in there, all kind of around potions class and potions themed. I'm sure there will be plenty of potions and potion ingredients in there. But if you didn't necessarily love potions or potion ingredients and were on the fence about getting that box, I wanted to make sure that you knew. It's not just gonna be filled with glass bottles. I think this is up there as a favorite box. I think this was really well curated, really thought out, great products, great overall designs 
of the products. All right, my favorite is the map. It's still the map. I love the map. I think this is so well done. I also really loved the pin. I think this was brilliant and really well designed. The key is gonna be another favorite. Most of it is my favorite. I think the least favorite is the mandrake as well as the skeletal horse necklace. I think that more could have been done with this. Maybe a cutout of a Thestral's head or something instead of just a round kind of pendant. But if you are someone who likes simple things like this, then this is gonna be right up your Diagon Alley. What'd you guys think about this box as a whole? Did you like specific items more than others? Were you freaking out as much as I was about the map? Let me and the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below. I think this was a very, very strong box from the Wizarding Trunk and might be in like my top three. I don't think it hit the number one spot, but it's definitely in the top three of my favorites. Really well curated. And I'm excited to try this Dark Forest Insect Bomb. As of right now, the next bi-monthly box, which is Potions Class, is open for subscriptions. So if you would like to purchase that, I suggest you get on it now before it sells out. And the next quarter, box, which is all about our favorite red-headed family, is also currently available for subscription. So if you would like to get in on the Wizarding Trunks quarterly subscription, now's the time before that also sells out. And you can save some money on your subscription. Check the description down below for a link as well as a coupon code, which is keep collecting 10. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?